Generic greetings, and welcome back to Production Line once again. In the previous episode, we made some cars, although that could be the summary of every episode of this series. We specifically made the Sedan B Plus and the Sedan M, and the difference is price point, really. So this is a mid-range car. It's uh, totaling nearly 30 grand, whereas the basic is just over... It's just half. It's about half. Um, it's 15,000 and a bit of change, and this is 29,000 with a bit of change as well. So we've got pretty much um, all of the advanced stuff in here. It's very rare, rare. Uh, there's a couple of things that um, we've got like heater which is a universal that's now universal on on these cars so that's expected if you don't have it watch the price look at that that's a big drop off in price so you actually get penalized if you don't have it so it's something that you pretty much need to have in always. So what we were researching last episode is the 4x4 AWD all-wheel drive body, which is almost complete rated. And once that's done, we will set that going on this production line here. So we're going to be producing the Sedan M, which is the uh, the the uh, mid-range model. I don't think we're going to have an M+. Plus. I don't think we're going to bother with that. Uh, and we'll also then produce a couple of the... Uh, a couple of the 4x4s, but we need to have a quick look at the market first because we need to know what sort of things people want because obviously you have different customers for things. So for example, the sedan, we've got the sedan budget and the mid-range. So the budget, we've got eight customers per hour, whereas the mid-range, we've got 20. So we're selling a lot more, which is good. And then we've got a couple for expensive and then a couple for luxury as well. But when we come down to, for example, the, or we go to the off-road, you can see budget, we've got six customers per hour. Mid-range, only three. So we're actually best off producing probably the off-road ones until we get a customer base up for it and the other stuff. Because as you can see, market share, we're, uh, we've got a 12% market share on the budget sedan and a 10% on the, uh, the mid-range. So we want to probably... Probably go for an, a, a budget off-road one. I think that's probably what we'll do. So let's speed up to max speed until well that happens. Um, we'll we'll go over that. Uh, we'll go over to this and uh, we'll select another thing to research. I think the compact body because if I check the market, um, yes, there's people actually wanting compact cars. You can see there's a good market for the compact and the uh, the mid-range. So let's design our four x four. Now, if we go look at the off-road vehicle here, so this is off-road and we'll have it as a B model because as we've seen in here. The, there's more people looking for the basic, the budget version, rather than the rather than the mid range. But doesn't necessarily say we can't uh, put all of the features in. The problem is that if we have the if we if we add the four x four to this line, which is what we will be doing, um, if we don't have everything in it, so if we just have it basic like this, it'll be it won't technically be any quicker to go through the system. Like for example, it will it will come through here, and then it'll go right. Well, we need we need this bit. Hang on, uh, that's even more faster resource imports. That's good. Uh, what I might do is go for probably all of the tier two stuff, and we'll get a tier two production line up and running. So it's got everything in there. Um, can we put more robots on this? Uh, sadly, we cannot because this is where the actually I wouldn't say that's where the bottleneck is, but the fit does. But anyway, as I was saying. Um, we've got certain things like, um, I don't know, these upgrades here, bad example, bad example, bad example, oh my good grief, come on, am I going to find one that's actually putting some upgrades on it? There we go, auto steer headlights and automatic headlights. If we have a car come along, um, like this, this basic model, it'll come along and it'll go, right, uh, you don't need headlights, so go to the next line. But you can't because there's already cars in front of you, so you can only go as quick as the like the fast uh, is the slowest vehicle and since we're putting everything on this line we might as well make a premium model because otherwise we're just putting basic models on the line that can't get off the line any quicker so you might as well spend the time putting all of this advanced stuff on and then getting a bigger and better car now what type of i don't know what type of car we want to make i mean we could make one with just absolutely everything I and mean, you wouldn't have a lot of these on here i, I don't think i mean i don't know it depends what type you're making if you're trying to make a very basic a very basic 4x4 that is actually going to be used off-road, then you'd want things like, oh, maybe automatic windscreen wipers, you'd want um, airbags, I think. Although, I, th I believe they'd be, if it'd either be like disabling features and such, um, or at least sensors to detect like when you're going over bumps, because otherwise they'll set the airbags off if you hit them pretty hard. Uh, leather interior, you wouldn't really have that. Uh, polished paintwork, probably wouldn't go for a full polish on it. Sat nav. Mm, don't think you really need that if you're in a field. Um, so you know, there's certain things you wouldn't have in the basic model, but the premium model, um, it's more of a Chelsea tractor is the is the general term, which is basically a big status symbol type car that just drives around and you know burns baby penguins to fuel the thing. Um, so that's maybe what we're going to go for here. So we're going to call this the the off-road M model. 
And I think what we'll do is probably have everything in it. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Okay, so we'll unpause it. We'll go over to this area here. And then we will add the off-road M, and we're going to make one of each. Actually, do we want one of each, or do we not? The market for this is 23 customers power and 5 for that, so we don't want that. We want to alter that slightly, so we're going to say change that. And the sedan M, we're going to make three sedans. Why can't I alter that? Three, zero, delete the one. That, oh, there we go, three. We're going to make three sedans to every one off-road vehicle and if it changes in here then obviously we'll we'll alter it and sort that out excellent so uh that is oh a nice uh, 32 grand so obviously the uh the off-road one's slightly more expensive yeah i mean it's it's got everything it's big it's bulky it's got a huge gas guzzling engine it's it's fuel i think it is fueled by seal tears um <laughs> Um, to take a Dylan Moran joke, it's uh, known as the uh, Toyota Hiroshima that just drives around, <laughs> polluting everything. <laughs> Is it going to see off-road? No, it's never heard of it. Anyway, um, so we've got the uh, the off-road there, as you can see. So we're going to make uh, five customers an hour, not a lot, but we should maybe even make more. Um, it should actually be a range of four to three, shouldn't it? So it should be four sedans to every one of those so we'll speed up to max speed and obviously we do more research we do more compact stuff uh, with this thing here um it's not too bad we're doing all right with it uh, looks like people have got the keyless entry it's now more common obviously there's still the technology stuff we have to worry about uh, we still haven't done anything around here nor have we done um any marketing uh, now we do i think i have um mentioned marketing before but i'll go through it essentially the way marketing works is that you will generate on you you'll generate ideas okay and then you will ooh, there's the door specialization um do we actually research marketing let's go for print marketing it'll take a while to get that but uh, might be worth it yeah so you have different ideas and then what you do is you will use these ideas on different types of marketing whether it be print uh, digital or what's a what's it called in the game um it is called print tv movie and that's it. Okay, fine. But yeah, you've got those three. And once you've researched them, you can spend the unused ideas uh, on those types of mark, those types of um, those types of media, and then that will give you like a like a sales boost. Uh, speaking of sales boost, we're actually ha we're getting a bit too much stock here. Um, we're not selling as many cars, and I think it's just because we've got too much premium on them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to knock back the uh, the price by 5% on those cars, just to see if they sell a bit better. So what have we got? We've got the, there we go, the selling. We've got the B+, plus, the Sedan M, the Sedan M. Yeah, it's the Sedan M that's uh, not selling really. And to be fair, we have we have been been we've been a bit cheeky by selling it at the tier that we have so let's think about then the axles now we want to make i think we want to unlock this and we want to have a production line that can probably make i think we'll have a full like a full list so we'll have everything that can be fitted here and the reason you would make the front and rear axle separately is you've got certain features that uh, you have to implement that way uh, so you need to have it in like a certain stage like for example the uh, I think like the ABS and stuff like that you need to have the uh, the tire stuff in there um, I do want to probably get some more facilities for research um, so a research office uh, we'll probably put in Like that. And we'll get a bit more research there. You can have a research center, which I haven't unlocked yet. No, I've unlocked nor have I unlocked the manufacturing stuff. But I think we'll I think we'll manage, we'll get through. Looks like this, the cars are actually selling quite well now. So what I'll do is I'll um I'll knock the premium up back to those. I think we'll keep the B plus I don't want to put the B plus up. I mean there's no reason why we can't. Um, it would be nice as well for the B plus to now have a heater, which I don't think it, it currently doesn't. Uh, so the heater will be an accessories, I'm guessing. Um, we've got all the Bluetooth stuff in there. Yeah, I think it's. 
Where is the heater? Technology looking for heater. Uh, it's in the fit dashboard. And dashboard, it'll be in accessories, I'm guessing. Horn, light seat, windscreen. Where is it? No, that can't be a fit engine. I don't know where that would be. Either way, I don't think we can have it, the heater in this, just because of the... Just because of... It's, it's the basic line. That's all it is, really. All right, let's max speed it out, and we'll get this research um, through. Still getting a bit of a... Still not selling a lot of cars, maybe because of the constantly blue. Oh, there we go. We actually got our first... Our first off-road M. There's the mid-range model. Uh, uninstalled features, folding wing mirrors. Hasn't got it. Okay, that's an interesting one. Have we... Have we not upgraded this? Um, that's print marketing. We'll say next project and we'll go for... Well, we'll go right at the top here. And we want to go for body frame specialization. And uh, let's say research everything from the top down for the extra bit. So we haven't got the... We haven't got the... Uh... Where one of them upgrades... Which one was it, actually? Do, do, do. It is... Oh, we now got another body of the Compact Car. For some reason, now it's giving us the option to do it. <laughs> it's giving us the tutorial, rather. Uh, yeah, what were we missing out on? There was something we were missing out on. Uh, folding wing mirrors. So, folding wing mirrors. I'm guessing we just can't have them. So, technology is... Folding wing mirrors... Falling wing mirrors. Unlocked at slot fit wing mirrors. And do we have that unlocked? Uh, there's a body frame specialization. We're going to go for bumper specialization. So it is lights, horn, seats, windscreen, aircon, dashboard, electronics. So where is that? Hmm. It's not in the steering assembly. No wheels, nor would it be. Ah, that's why. It's there. And we haven't got that. Because uh, we only did the doors. We only did the tier one. So we'll have fit doors there. But we can't give it that. That's why we can't have that feature in it. Okay, it's understandable. But there you go, look. We, we, we have got a nice mid-range model on that one. So that's good. And it is selling. So we'll just check the market as well. Uh, market is still not great for that. But we have got a market for a compact budget car. Which is good because what we can do is go over to the compact. And we'll have this as the B plus model. Because this is going to have... Um, we'll have the... Well, what have we got in this one? This is the B... This is the sedan. And we want Bluetooth phone support. In-car music. Q&A, yes. Satnav and voice recognition. Satnav and voice recognition. Still a budget car. And what we'll do, we will add it to that. So we're going to produce one of each. Because I believe in the market, you can see that there is a market. 10 customers for the budget sedan, but 15 for the compact. Actually, we might move over then. We might move over to producing twice as many compact cars. Which is not the exact ratio, obviously, but we'll, we'll see if we can get rid of those. Out the door, get them out the door anyway. Um, so we'll go for Archer's Specialization. I think you need Archer's Specialization for... I believe it's like Lane Departure Warning System or something like that. Yeah, it's something like that. Uh, and the reason I'm not building anything at the moment is because I really do need to get these unlocked before... Anything else. Maybe I should go for the axles and the fuel tank and such because otherwise I might have a problem. But actually, I think I want to start my production around here because there's a lot of input so we can have it go along and then around. Um, we'll, also have to, we'll also have to work out roughly what time we want it to build it in. Mm. I'll research the uh, unlocks soon. So central locking is now more prevalent across the board. Like I say, I'm going to try and make the every car, so a car that's uh, very, very high-tech and have uh, pretty much everything in it. 
Although, it won't necessarily be... I don't think it'll be possible straight away. I don't think it'll be possible straight away. Just because of the... Technologies, because we haven't got them all. We simply haven't got all the technologies. There's loads of stuff that we just haven't got. Um, looks like it's common in luxury cars and car music, but it's uh, still rare in other ones, that one. And touchscreen interface, and nobody's gone with it. We also haven't got electric cars, which I do want to start making at some point. That'll be quite good. Uh, we also haven't got uh, another another design on the go, so what is required? So in the market, for mid-range, it looks like SUVs and pickups. Pickups are good, because it's got a 15 markup on that one. 15 customers per hour. Um, so, I'd like to go for pickups, but I don't think we have pickups. But we do have SUV. And then you can go for pickup. Okay, that's settled that. No problem. Yeah, so it's SUV and then pickup truck. That's fine. And we can ba make a basic pickup if we want to, but if we go down here now, we should be getting uh, there's the sedan, but we should get we should be getting basic cars coming off a line now. Uh, sorry, um, oh there we go, look, there's the there's the compact cars, so compact cars are coming down. That's good. And there's the axles done. So all these are manufacturing ones. These where you got like the the stamps and the presses. They're all to do with the manufacture, which is something we are not really bothered about at the moment. We're just we're just focusing on the uh, the extra tiers, which is looking about right because we just need that and then that, and then I think that is yeah that that is it. That is actually all of the stuff that we need. So we'll then need to unlock this and then go that way. Like I say, I think this is going to be the output. The only problem is what sort of time do we want to set ourselves? So we'll have a quick look at the uh, each station. So fit axles is well, we'll be fitting the front and back, so it'll be two seconds, two seconds, um, two seconds for four minutes uh, thirty-one. But we'll be breaking that down though, won't we? It's like the shells. Um. So our next one will be wheel specialization. Uh, fit the roof, which is four. Two, two, two. Paint. Ah, they're driving the car. It's going to be the problem, isn't it? Yeah. The engine is two minutes, two minutes, three minutes, six minutes. But we'll be breaking that down into those, which is two, two, two. So the whole point is that we don't want. We don't want any station longer than. X amount of time, and what is the X amount of time, though? I'm not sure. Uh, let's go for the factory expansion research. I think we said seven minutes for this one on each station. I don't think I think we'll come close to small six on this one, so let's let's aim for that. So once this is unlocked, we'll get that and then we'll go around. Uh, currently, got a mill. So that's good. In terms of loans, as you can see, we've got a new loan available, but I don't think we really need to take that. Although it is, it's not too bad. We had to, you know, get a couple of loans previously just because of, um, well, uh, cash flow problems. But uh, <laughs> we're okay now. We're not too bad now. So chassis axles first, yeah, and it'll be front axle, rear axle. Then you've got the drive shaft. Then the undercarriage and then the fuel tank. Okay, fine. So we're not making the first tier, we're making the second tier, if we, if possible, if possible. So it is rear and then front. Oh no, it says fit rear axle, then front axle, and drive shaft. So is that. Oh, is that different there? That's interesting. I don't know. Don't think it matters. I think it's like that says there the order says rear and then four, but then the list doesn't say it says it's the other way. But anyway, I think we'll we'll manage. Um, so what do we want to research around here? Uh, we've got bull bars which can be um, offered on the pickups, which would be quite good. Lane departure warning systems in the door panels. Um, Cruise control is in the wheel specialization. I don't know why. Uh, fit doors, keyless entry, climate control. 
what sort of thing is... I need to check and see what, like, pa see, power steering is in fit steering wheel, but we don't have that, I don't think. Yeah, so it's, we've got steering assembly, but we haven't got fit steering wheel, because that's the next one on. Anyway, so we're going to we're gonna get this one, so we'll expand into this one. And we've got some more research options if we need to use them, but we're not going to do it for the time being. So it's going to be fit axles. Um, the, the order does say, though, rear, front, drive, undercarriage, fuel tank. But then it's ordered it, front, rear, drive, undercarriage, fuel tank. So I don't think it really matters. Um, what I'll do is... Uh, yeah, sunroof's on there, panoramic we haven't got, electric windows requires... The fit, well, it's at the fit windows area. That's powered seats as well. Mm. wonder if an aluminium body would be any good. Um. Let's go for probably central locking. So, I'll just check this. So, current task is front axle first, then rear, then drive shaft. Yes, yeah, so I think it's just a tilt tip thing. So, it is for the chassis. Let's start. Everything, like I say, is going to be as advanced as it can. So, fit axles, yes. It's going to be front axle, which we'll put. This is going to be the start of the line here, you see. And um, we'll have it as. Can't upgrade any of those. Choose next. Clamp control might be quite good because I think we have air conditioning on the. Do we have air conditioning? Um, yeah, fit aircon. We do have that, so we can uh, have climate control on that one and a pollen, fin po pollen filter if we need to. Okay, so front axle. Uh, we'll have it as I think we'll put it. Well, at least a gap of one on the left hand side there. So that's the SUV body. We'll go immediately to. The pickup truck. Uh, do we want to start? Do we want to make an SUV body? In terms of the SUVs, um, there's eight customers for the budget model. Well, we might as well make a budget model. So, we'll go over to the SUV. It's going to be the B Plus. And it'll be similar to the one previously. So, it'll be uh, Bluetooth phone support. It'll be... Sat nav voice recognition. Hang on, where's the compact? So it's basic Bluetooth. Yeah, it's in car music. That's right. And I think that's about right. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And um, what's the market on that one? Eight eighteen seven. Right, so we need to alter this a bit. So it is going to be one, two, and SUVB plus. So there we go. So two two sedans, one compact, one SUV. That's what we're going to be producing. That's good. So back over to here. We'll get this line done eventually. Trust me. So axles, front axle, yes. Rear axle. Not going to leave a gap, I don't think so. I don't think there's any reason for that. It's all two minutes, so that's the rear axle. Drive shaft, we can expand it, but it says make, which we don't want to make. Undercarriage, two. Fuel tank, that. that okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do from this point forward, and I think this is a probably a sensible decision, is... Put all these in for a start. Hang on. Oh, that was I was putting conveyors in, not importers. I was going to say, I wonder why it didn't play. Uh, fit icon, upgrade all slots. So I'll say pollen filter as well, since it's going to be in about the right about the right area. Right. So um, we now should actually be able to put in. In the aircon. 
Oh, we've already bought that. So we have to alter our cars. Sedan Model M. Climate control. Central locking. Power steering. We're turning all of these on. But we won't be able to put them all in. Because a lot of it is um, not included. Actually, is that bad then? Is that bad because... Do you get a penalty for wanting it in and then not having it? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, we're going to turn on everything and we'll see what happens. I don't know if there's a penalty for that. See, so it says uninstalled features. Power steering, central lock and climate control and wing mirrors. So we want... Missing and expected is power steering. Ah, that's the problem. Yeah, we, we don't have power steering in this one. That's not good. So, uh, power steering, central locking and wing mirrors. Which is in yellow. So maybe that's just... I guess the red is definitely a problem. Yeah, market value goes down. Whereas the central locking... It's not in this list. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's a problem if you don't have it. I think it just, it's, just, it's just alerting us that we're not, uh, we haven't got it. Anyway, so what we're going to do on here is have it so that the resource conveyor is connected up right now like this. Um, and we'll have it so we are bringing the stuff in. Why is there no route to stockpile? That seems like there is a f that that seems like there is a route to stockpile. There's the resource importer, and it's not making anything. Why not? Why not? There we go. Just taking a while to bring stuff in. So what I want to do, I want to make it so that we'll get this. Every stage, so the chassis, will build part of it. So that is built. That's actually built okay. That's fine. So we'll get rid of that. The next one is the body. So it's a body frame, which is body shell. And this is where we have problems because of, yeah, the way it um, goes. Um, let's say upgrade the aircon there. Oh, that was the pollen filter. Let me just uh, sort that out. I think what we'll do as well is go for... Um, heated seats, because we can. So back over to the aircon. We'll upgrade. We've already upgraded, but we need to put it in the car, don't we? Sedan M. Pollen filter. Very rare in this type of car. Just checking on the price there. Still mid-range. That's fine. That's okay. Right, so. Uh, yeah, we probably need a little bit more of a gap so I'm gonna I'm gonna shift the line over just just slightly so we can get past it you see so we'll have the might as well squeeze it in as much as possible really body shell then the hood and the trunk just checking the times on it bumpers ah done that wrong slightly get rid of that Body's sorted. Hood's okay. Trunk's alright. Bumpers, we need to fit the front first. Then the rear. Then the bottom trim. Then the arches. Then the vent. Then the roof. Then the doors, which is door panels. Windows and wing mirrors. And that's everything in the body frame. Now, let's connect all this up and we'll see if that actually is correct. And if it isn't correct, then it's going to take a little bit of time to fix. So this can go along to there. That's fine. It can also come along and start doing that side. And this one can run along to there. This one can do that. And then on the other side, we'll have that run probably straight to there. Uh, the other side of this will be um, probably just a straight run actually there, that's fine. And this one 
we'll do that. Okay, so I'll max speed that out and let's see if it makes all of these things. It's saying no route to stockpile, but there is, it's just going to take a little bit of time to sort that out. Come on. Come on. He'll figure it out eventually. Um, in terms of upgrades, a lot of these are like extra robots and such. We will go ahead and uh, put all those in. What I'm mainly focusing on now, though, is... There's the extra route. What I'm mainly focusing on is whether or not this car gets to the end of the line. Um, now, the cars that we make here... There's the fit seats, uh, fit seats bit. The cars that we make here will not technically be legit. They'll be missing so many features because we're not, we haven't actually put these upgrades in, like the sunroof and such, and that sort of thing, and uh, things like the central lock, and we haven't, we haven't like put those in. But that looks like it got to the end, okay. So I'm happy about that. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there. Next episode, go ahead and finish this line off. So far, it's going okay. If there's any section that I've missed, then obviously I'm going to have to sort that out. There's going to be a lot more things I need to add on this line. Um, so I need to put all the robots on it, all the extra stuff. Uh, do a lot of load balancing when it comes to the, the conveyors and such. So, well, yeah, we're quite far off. But um, so far, not doing too bad. Money is... Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, 700,000 plus a bit of change. That's good. Still selling cars, still doing all right. And hopefully you are still enjoying the series. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.